Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, you guys picked, <clears throat> apologies in advance, I'm nearly the end of this cold, it's just more of a head cold and uh, it's better than it was. But if you follow me on in my Instagram, which is always down below in the description box, um, I actually went to my Insta stories and posted obviously for 24 hours, asking you guys, what would you like to see? Would you like me to do um, wax melt empties, vendor or Walmart, by vendor or by company? Or did you want me to just reach out of a bag and like literally pick and guess what? <laughs> I was very surprised. You guys decided that, um, I think it was 56, 44 uh, percentage wise, that you guys wanted me to pull from the bag and be surprised. So that's what we're doing. So uh, before I tell you what's on my lips, on my eyes, sit back, relax. It's gonna be in two parts. I've got two different bags here that I literally, it's just things that have been thrown in there. Um, it may be a while. <laughs> It happens once a year, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, with that being said, now I will tell you what's on my lips. I actually went into the my new, what is this? I can't remember what it's called, but the big, uh, the NARS kit that I got of the lip, the lip, lippies. And this one is in Dolce Vita. And that's what I have lined and all over my lips. It came with four, four different colors. But, and then I'm really trying to use up some of my least used Buxom lip glosses that I got in a kit like almost three years ago now. They haven't gone off yet, but they're probably gonna go off soon. So I decided to top it with Buxom's full-on lip polish in the color Zoe. So that's what I have on my lips there. And I decided to try out my new Makeup Geek uh, shadows. So I have a few different things. Oh, I think I put this one in upside down. So um, I, had, I put four on my eyes today. I really wanted to do some experimenting. Um, I put in my crease this pressed shadow in Hayride and then I decided to lay or on the outer V and a little bit on the top crease was another darker shade called um, Aphrodite not Dighty but Aphrodite and then on the base of my lids just to give a base color I used this pressed eyeshadow in Mango Tango but the thing that gives, it just gives a little bit of sparkle. Um, in, it is another pressed shadow in Razzleberry. And it's got, it reminds me of Tati Beauty's volume one shadow in one of her sequins section. Um, it reminds me a little bit about that. So, um, and then I just kind of did the same colors under my eyes and things like that. So I have to go to the grocery store later. So with that said, when these videos I'm gonna do right now are done, I will have to take all this off. Otherwise people of Halifax, Nova Scotia are gonna be like, who are you and what's with your hair? I literally just threw it up in a clip. All right, so I have my empty bag over here. This should be interesting. So I'm just gonna pull and show to you guys and if anything stands out, um, I will let you know and if a brand comes up that I um, had issue with or what have you, I will let you know as well. I think one of the biggest things uh, that in 2019 that I really, really, really stayed true at was not buying a lot. I went on a trip in April to visit my friend Ramona, Ramona Talk here on YouTube, and I bought a couple, like a few clams of a couple different like ones, some Walmart stuff I couldn't get. And I mean by a few, I mean very few. And then of course, I'm trying to think, there may have been a, maybe a sampler in 2019, but then there was just the three advents towards the end of the year. And I really burned through my melts. I'm not joking when I say, these um, totes I have, they're quite large, they're clear, so I can tell which vendor I put inside and things like that. Um, I went from about six to four. Yeah, so I'm getting down and I'm using what I've got, not to say that like Rainbow Melts, for example, um, one of my favorite vendors, they've got a lot of things going on in January and February. Coffee samplers, I can't get enough coffee. In fact, I'm actually almost out of everything coffee right now. So. You know, like there's some certain things that I I would definitely purchase because I don't have any. Um, I'm still waiting for my Wax Wednesday order from Super Tarts, which is fine. Um, I, I'm not even going to show them to you until both my orders. I'm supposed to get two different shipments back, but um, until both my orders come back, I'm not going to uh, show them, show you guys what I have. Sorry, I have like a runny nose. Um, anyway, um, 
I just wanted to, you guys to know that I felt pretty good about it. I don't, for me personally, I don't believe in a no buy. I feel that that's unrealistic in for me, in my own personal opinion. Um, a low buy was definitely more realistic and I really found myself just not looking at D-Stash pages and I think they kind of went almost like under the radar, like D-Stash D -stash pages for wax really um, were not as active and I think a lot of people had a hard time and may still have a bit of a hard time selling the product because I think like in the beauty area, which is also another area I watch a lot of on YouTube, people are inundated with stuff. And um, although I can get through wax a heck of a lot faster than I can get through a lip gloss, um, you know, I think it's just that consumerism, the waste and all that stuff. So anyway, um, I'm going to try to see if I can remember to put down below when to start this video when I actually start pulling wax because I realize I'm been talking for almost six minutes. So you guys, um, I hope you're doing well. 2019 was an interesting and exciting year for me. Uh, 2020 will be even more exciting. So with that said, um, these are the wax melts by vendor or company that I went through from when I moved here to Halifax. So mid-August till December 31st. There is a lot because I was at home, I wasn't working, so there was definitely five, or sorry, seven days a week. For the most part, I changed my wax out, so I had two different scents going um, every day. And if you can see, where am I going with this? This one here. This is from my friend Ramona. She gifted this to me. It's gorgeous, especially at nighttime. Um, it's one of those tea light holders uh, from Scentsy. It's really delicate, so I put it right here, but generally it's in my spare bedroom because the color it gives off is really pretty. But I wanted to show you guys. All right, six minutes, 45 seconds, let's say. All right, first one, let's pick this up. Oh yes, okay, better homes and gardens we can't get in Canada, so I'll say this once. I have great friends who are able to um, allow me to buy uh, with them when they go to Walmart, they'll just kind of live, live shoot some stuff to me and they'll pick it up and I'll pay them back for it, or friends who just gift me uh, wax. This was Suede Cinnamon Woods. I thought I would really like this. I know that I'm not a big cinnamon fan and this will be a theme throughout, but this has been in my possession since 2017. I'm really trying to get through my older wax right now, and which is why, um, yeah, which is why this was here. Um, I didn't like it. It was really strong, like really strong cinnamon. Of course, I couldn't sniff it at first. Um, it's not as strong as, and there's another one in here that's even stronger. There is that like suede, like that, um, what am I saying? Egyptian cotton, kind, not cotton, but you know what I mean? There's a suede scent to it. But anyway, um, I wouldn't repurchase that. Another Better Homes and Gardens, Rustic Country Home. There's no writing on the back. Normally I date them on the back, um, but I know I've had this for a while. And this was very like red hot cinnamon. I would not repurchase. This is Rainbow Melts Caffeine Party, creamy vanilla coffee, and a big slice of birthday cake. Um, I love Rainbow Melts coffee amazing and I, I'm actually buying two of her coffee samplers um, because to get me through a year because I when I know I know right if I if she's only gonna do this maybe once a year or maybe twice I, I need coffee <laughs> I don't have any so I'm only buying I'm buying two samplers um, I'm trying to like tell you why um, but because I really don't have any coffee left I have gone through it all this is very good rainbow melts in general throws very well um, a scent shot like this I cut in half and I melt in uh, two places, so that was really good. This is from um, this is from Sugar Sugar and Spice Gourmet Soy Candles and Chai Tea. It's one of my favorite chai teas. I'd say this one and um, Super Tarts Hedwig, also one of my favorites. Uh, Sugar and Spice. Now it's wonderful to see her back in business. I really want to do more damage, more melting, um, but there's a couple of vendors I really want to purchase from in the spring slash summer. Um, for 2020 so when I get through more I definitely sugar and spice her stuff keep just like rainbow melts as well keeps for a very very long time like two three years or more and with the longer that you um, keep the sugar and spice the, the stronger it, it is and I find that in a smaller space you can cut this melt into fours like so you can get four different melts out of that so there you go this one uh, better homes and gardens vanilla caramel spice this is the one that's melt even spicier Oh yeah, and gross. Ugh. This one's even spicier than the one I, the first one I pulled from here, and I would not get that again. Uh, Carrot Cake by Goose Creek. Now, I enjoy Goose Creek wax melts. Um, 
this was okay. It's not a carrot cake that I would get. I was wishing for more of like the cream cheese and um, there's a lot of heavy spice on this. In fact, I had to turn, I remember correctly, I had to turn my warmers off within a couple hours, um, like, like two hours in. Normally this would go most of the day, but I had to turn the warmers off. It was just too, too strong. Um, I wouldn't buy this, but um, I love their wax melts. So I, I do have, I've got actually some on the go for this week lined up. I have a lineup. I have a wax lineup. Did you know that? <laughs> now you do. All right, from Super Tarts. Um, this is Rosemary's Baby. This is um, Bedtime Bath Rosemary Mint and Herbal Lavender. And uh, Super Tarts, one of my top vendors as well. I've had this a long time. I've had this since uh, October 2017 uh, with Super Tarts. Less is more. One that comes with six cubes. One cube pretty much does it for my home. If I didn't have the collection I do now, right now, I would leave the warmer or the wax in a warmer and turn it on and off until such time as I didn't get any scent and I probably would get three days off of this one. It is a strong one. I have repurchased this. I think I'm good for a little bit though. I'm Devin, um, can, um, she changed her name. I haven't, she hasn't, she's been going through some stuff in her own personal life so she hasn't posted a lot lately but um, Devin's the one who got me uh, kind of addicted to that one so it is very good though. Another sugar and spice, this is shaving cream. Probably one of my favorite shaving creams from any vendor. And the nice thing about being in this particular container, again, you can split into four different ways and you can blend them. So I love blending her shaving cream as well. So um, again, that's sugar and spice gourmet soy candles. Loved her shaving cream is something I love melting in the bathrooms. Super tarts, go to sleep, which is pink sugar, some blended with our sweet lavender cream like the writing is almost gone on this because um, it was stacked among other things again this is an older melt go to sleep is one of her OG scents it is wonderful again one cube in my bedroom and that was great but one of her best uh, known blends is uh, blended with go to sleep go to sleep goes really well with a lot of things to be honest but you do have to like lavender Sensational. So this is something that's um, Sensational is sold in Canada. This particular one I bought in Canada. This is Summer Meadow and it was just like, I'm not a floral person but I wanted to buy it because there's hardly any newness in, my, in Canada. And it's nice. It's it's a little baby powdery, but it, it's okay when I repurchase it. No. Again, I have quite the collection. Had I not had a collection like I do, maybe that might be different. Oh no, description. Faded Opulence. This is the one that smells like cola. Yes. Like the cola bottles. That's what I get. Like the uh, gummy cola bottles that you grew up. I, I was born in the 70s, grew up in the 80s, like, you know, 80s, 90s. So this is from the bathing garden called Faded Opulence. This particular scent comes out during Halloween. <coughs> Pardon me. A lot of talking today. Um, this comes out in Halloween and it does smell really good. I actually quite enjoy it. Now with Bathing Garden, I do use two wax melts per melter each time. So just to give you an idea of how much. And Sensationals and uh, Better Homes and Gardens, I use two wax melts per time unless it's a really small melter in my bathroom, then I'll use one. Super Tarts, Twilight's Rosalie, one of my favorites. And actually it's on her site as being one of the top scents of all time for Super Tarts. Again, I've had this since 2017. This is described as twisted peppermint and coconut cream pie. I would best describe this as twisted peppermint and coconut, like a coconut cream. There's no pie note, um, there's no crust. It's just, it's a beautiful blend. Peppermint does come up a little bit more, but I do definitely get the coconut cream. I have many of these. Um, I've repurchased it. I have a lot. So when I did repurchase, I did buy a lot. Okay, something I'm a little over with, <laughs> I'm over now, but I am putting it in my melting basket for February because I need more bathroom melts and I tend to find that this is, you know, for migraine, for those who suffer migraines, I know that I've heard that it's very good for that, um, but also too for bathrooms. So that's Super Tars, Super Tars Lord of the Melts in Middle Earth, which is dirt, rosemary, and fresh mint. Now, for those of you who aren't as familiar with the dirt, and the rosemary and fresh mint, that, like the dirt scents, it's actually kind of good. And a lot of people swear by these types of scents, the dirt, um, the, um, you know, when it rains on a spring day or a summer day and the nitrogen in the air and you, you can almost smell those worms coming up. I know it sounds really weird, but for those of us who lived in like the country and stuff, that's kind of what I would say after a good rainfall. You can smell the nitrogen in the air, so you can see a storm coming in. And then when the when the soil gets really wet, that's kind of how I how I sense it, I guess. 
It is good. I have a full band bag, like I said, I, that I'm going to be, it is placed, you just haven't seen the video yet, in my February's melting basket because I am gonna, I need more bathroom melts. And so, um, less is more, you just need one. Uh, again, but if you suffer from migraines, I know lots of people who love that kind of scent. Then I've got Super Tarts The Originals, which is a crisp spearmint leaves paired with clementine. This is really, really nice. Again, I've had this a long time, 2017. Um, this is really, really good. I enjoyed it. I melt a lot of anything orangey, like where orange stands out the most, I tend to put it in my bathrooms. So this was in my bathroom one cube at a time. Uh, whenever I purchase it, maybe down the road, but again, my collection is pretty out of, no, it's not out of hand. You know what? I feel pretty good considering where it was. I had 161 three wick candles from Bath and Body Works alone. I'm down to tree. Okay. So, um, this is from Better Homes and Hiccups, Better Homes and Gardens from the States. Savory blackberry cobbler. I got hiccups. Savory blackberry cobbler. Again, I've had this since 2017. This one was actually really nice. I like blackberry scents. The thing is with anything from Better Homes and Gardens or Sensationals, I find, and this was this was the case as well, you can sort of see it's yellow. The wax is really, really dark. It was actually kind of as dark as the cobbler the look of the cobbler portion of that and it stains my my warmers and I know I've cleaned them off and, and, and you know that's fine but um yeah just when you finish cleaning your warmers and you're like dang I gotta melt this thing now <laughs> not that I had to but I'm like oh it's come up for one of the things I need I want to melt and I'm gonna have to clean that warmer again because it would stain but Mr. Killing Magic Eraser and for anything glitter um great tip given to me by you guys was nail polish remover with a cotton pad perfect all right, so this is a very fall-inspired scent that I love melting in the fall from Super Tarts. It's called Misery. It's pie crust and leaves, and it's exactly like that. So leaves from Bath & Body Works sort of scent, and then pie crust. So it's that perfect blend of bakery and outdoor. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's sexy. It is. I don't know how else to put it. It's pretty sexy without being a colony sexy. Super Tarts again, we have Tart Trex Borg, which is the omen blended with sweet lemon curd. Now, I like Data better than Borg, because you'll see that, I'm sure, in here. I don't know if it's today or tomorrow's video, but um, this it is good, but I I'm, and I did put this in the bathroom. The omen is another blend that Brandy does at Super Tarts, um, but also lemon citrusy scents. I tended to melt this in the bathroom, but it just didn't... I won't repurchase uh, Bork, but I do like Data, which is coming eventually. Happy birthday. This is another, okay, so the go to sleep from Super Tarts earlier I mentioned, plus this happy birthday, which is, oh my God, the printing. Um, fluffy buttercream, sweet strawberry filling, and white birthday cake is this one. It is gorgeous. Another old one, 2017 I've had this at. It's gorgeous. And so what Brandy has done is she's taken the blend of the go to sleep that I mentioned earlier and this one and made it into Twilight's Immortal Child, I believe it is. And it too is one of my favorites. So happy birthday is great. I'm again, one cube at a time. And if any of you see any little check marks here on any of the wax melts from Super Tarts, it means I bought it on Wax Wednesday, which is 25% off. So Wax Wednesday, you just have to follow her Facebook page. So that's Super Tarts. Um, and she'll tell you as it comes, but Wax Wednesday is in November. So so Super Tarts, Kong, Biolage, and Pink Sugar. Now I'm not ruling out Biolage. Like I love System Biolage from Matrix and, and all that. I love, like that's a shampoo I grew up with. Like I loved it. I love the smell. But um, not giving up on the Biolage sense. I'm just not sure if I liked it with the Pink Sugar. I love Pink Sugar and I love Biolage, but I think I want to try it with something else. I didn't hate it, but it wouldn't repurchase it. And you can see that it was also a very, very black or darkish wax. But unlike Better Homes and Gardens and Sensationals, it doesn't stain my wax warmer, so uh, I don't know. Um, this is from the bathing garden called Vampire Blood, and it's described as strawberry, persimmon, raspberry jam, pomegranate, cranberry, fig, and crushed vanilla beans with a sprinkle of brown sugar. So that was that one, and it was pretty good. Yeah, I would, it probably wouldn't be a repurchase for me. There are other ones that she does and uh, Bathing Garden also does amazing like uh, whip soaps and scrubs. I really do like their body care as well. So this is Southbound Candle Co, also an American company, Pink Bedtime Blend. Pink Sugar, Mandarin, Lavender, Chamomile, Neroli, and Lily of the Valley. So 
I think this one was a bit floral for me. If I remember. Yeah, the, thankfully the pink sugar comes out a little bit more than everything else, so it's it's quite nice. But had it been more floral, um, I find personally Southbound Soap Company's Herbal Lavender to be too much for me. So that's just my own opinion, of course. So we have Turkish Spice Market, which is from Sensationals. Now it says it's from the USA, but I found this bin, bin diving um, at a time when my Walmarts had this huge bin in not even, I think it was in the seasonal section, not even close to where their wax mills are held. Um, but this is back where I lived on Vancouver Island. So um, it was okay, I didn't hate it. It was all right, would I repurchase it? Probably not. Um, but I remember that was also like a dollar, which for here in Canada, one of these like clams from Sensationals is almost $4 or sometimes depending on the province and after taxes, you're over $4. So. Um, this is Super Tarts The Omen. So remember earlier there was something blended with an omen that I mentioned. So Super Tarts The Omen is is uh, is Ocean Breeze, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Red Delicious Apple. And I love this. I love The Omen and I love Jaws, which I'm sure we'll get to again between part one and part two. This is gorgeous. Again, she will see with, with, um, with Super Tarts that she does use almond things like omen and jaws a lot to blend with other things because they are so good now i strictly melt this in the bathroom and um yeah i really like that one. Oh, this is good too um this was i'm not sure if it was as strong as i wanted to be though yeah this was good but i remember which is weird because this the top's ripped off but yankee candles white strawberry bellini it was really good i picked this up when i was visiting ramona I melted this likely in the summer, I'm assuming, because I was more of a seasonal melter. Um, this was really good, but I remember I wanted it to be stronger. And I wish it was a bubbly. Like, I wish there was a bubbly scent. I know that, well, Bellinis. Bellinis are made with champagne, are they not? Like a slushy, and then, but poured with champagne. So there should be a bubbly scent to it. But no, vendors can do bubbly, like an effervescent scent. But I find, like, Yankee and, you know, anything... Like store bought, I don't see them. I never had one that's actually fizzy in my nose. Some from Super Tarts, Bridget Jones's Diary. This is Harvest Ale and Shaving Cream. I really enjoyed this one, and I really am glad I held on to it for fall. Um, so I really enjoyed this. This was in the bathroom because of that shaving cream. But that Harvest Ale was really nice. Yeah, I really, really did like this one, and definitely a very fall bathroom scent. Yeah, I'm original. All right, I gotta keep going. Okay, one of my absolute favorites. If I find repeats as I'm pulling, you guys, I'm just gonna like show and pull and show and dump. Um, this is from Super Tarts, one of my favorite laundry blends of all time. And it's stronger than strong, strong, strong. And it's Minerva, which is pink sugar in her laundry. Oh, it's so strong and I love it. These are one of the scents I'm sure if I left in a warmer and turned it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, I'd probably have it in the same piece in there for a week had I not had the collection I do. Crisps, crisp fall leaves. Again, this is from the United States. No. Not my, not my style. This one I was very happy to. Um, this was very good. I, I liked it, but I didn't love it. This is Penguin from Super Tarts, which is Blackberry Jam, Ocean Rain, and Pink Sands. I've come to realize that Ocean Rain, I don't really enjoy the scent of from Super Tarts. <clears throat> it's just her oil, and that's fine. Trust me, there's tons of other things I enjoy from her, uh, from her range. But um, Ocean, Ocean Rain is one of those ones. I love a fresh ozone, ozone type scent, but Ozone Rain, I just find it, it doesn't do it for me. This is too strong, but this is the Apple Pumpkin from Yankee Candle, which again, I got when I was with Ramona. Now I've had the few Yankee Candle jars that I've been able to pick up over the years. I have burnt and gone through an Apple Pumpkin from Yankee. And I will say the candle, the one wick big jar candle from Yankee that I probably found at Winners or something, it, I know it's one of the very few candles that have thrown very well for me. So again, these wax melts too, they did very well, very strong. Perfect for the fall season. Mm, one of my favorites. You probably see multiples in here at some point. This is Better Homes and Gar Gardens Pink Sugar Berry, again from the United States. So this is kind of supposed to be like an aqualina of pink sugar. Or no, I don't know that this one is. I don't know. I wouldn't say that that smells. I think someone had said that one time and that went off. Everyone said that. But I really do get 
a ras like a raspberry with the sugar on it, like everything, like and you bite into it, the sweetness and the tartness. And I I strictly melt this in the bedroom just because I just really like that that scent. All right. <clears throat> Magically delicious from Super Tarts, which is a Lucky Charms cereal, is a super sweet marshmallow amazing treat. It's so basically is a one big old marshmallow. There's a bit of that cereal note too, which I'm not a fan of cereal in wax, and I'm also not a fan of milk or sugar milk or any of that stuff. I'm not really. This is okay. Um, the, I know again, this is something that Brandy uses to blend with other things. I wouldn't necessarily repurchase this on its own, but down the road, you know, if obviously it's in a blend that I enjoy, then that's a totally another story. This is the one that I was so glad I melted this prior to Wax Wednesday because just based on the um, the write up on it that I'll read to you here in a moment, I thought I was going to be stocking up on this. And I love the smell on cold, but when I melted it, there was something about the mix that it just, I don't know what to say, it just, it wasn't for me. So I'm glad I saved a lot of money because I probably would have bought like four clams on Wax Wednesday. This is Super Tarts Marksman, Marksman, which is shaving cream, sweet peach slices, and juicy watermelon. Love all three of those things. And a lot of those things, and even as a blend, I thought that would be really good, but not pour moi. So I'm happy to have done that before uh, Wax Wednesday because I was like, oh, maybe I should try it and see because that would definitely be something I would get. But here, I still have half of a super pan from like three years ago that my friend Heather and I went to have or halvesies together on and I love it. And my cousin plays for Nashville Pet Predators. And so if you're wondering, he's number 52, Matt Irwin. That's my cousin. He's my, my our dads are brothers. Anyway. So, but before he went and played with Predators, Predator was my one of my favorite coffee uh, scents from any vendor. And this is a cappuccino and coconut cream pie from Super Tarts. So again, there's no pie crust note. It's similar to the Twisted Peppermint and Coconut Cream Pie that makes um, Rosalie, but this is cappuccino. Now, I am a coffee lover in wax where coffee is the number one like it has to have at least a 60, 40 breakdown. So whatever the cappuccino, for example, cappuccino coconut cream pie, at the very least I want 60% coffee, but I like that 70% so I could still get the coffee because that's what I want. And then that little bit of extra. So, and I get that from this one and it is one of my favorites and you will likely see more coming in my Wax Wednesday haul. I love this one, very, very good. All right. We have It's Always Tea Time from Super Tarts, Earl Grey Tea, Tea Cakes, Peppermint Swizzle Sticks, and Whipped Cream. It wasn't one of my favorites. Actually, I believe it was one of the most, one of the poor performers, which is saying something because Super Tarts doesn't normally have poor performers in my home on my warmers and such. And if you guys want to know what warmers I have, I have collection videos. So just look at my playlist because I do have uh, collection videos. But what I realized is tea and cakes is not also not my thing. Um, tea and cakes is just like, eh, you know. So it wasn't for me. I found too that this whole line, the Alice in Wonderland, basically Alice in Wonderland line, I wasn't a fan of. Most of the blends weren't for me anyway. This is, oh, one of my favorites from the, ba the bathing garden. It's called Sleepy and it's pink sugar, peppermint, and vanilla. Now again, pink sugar, peppermint, vanilla, many vendors do this and call it different things. This is the first time I was given a very lovely package by a lovely friend um, and she put in one of these in the package back when I didn't even know wax melts other than the Walmart ones existed. And so I will always, ha this will always hold a special place in my heart. And I know when they restocked it a couple years ago, yeah, 2017, um, I know that I bought a whole bunch of things and a sugar scrub and a whip soap, I, everything it possibly could come in, I loved. This is one of my favorites. And this, you know, the name says Sleepy. This is where I would put it, is the bedroom for sure. Like I said, I hope it's trapped in or pause it or you're doing laundry or folding laundry or something, because it will be a long video. And we still have a part two to do later. Better Homes and Gardens Coconut ca uh, Cabin, oh sorry, Coconut Cabana Linen, the A is covered up pretty much with the white of the coconut. I really, really thought I was going to love this one, but then I will say, I, on cold, yes, that's why I bought it. Um, that's when I was with Ramona, I believe, but um, I didn't really enjoy it when I melted it. And because it had the linen in, I used it in the bathroom. So yeah, it wasn't my favorite, I didn't hate it, 
but it wasn't like what I was expecting it to be like. Oh, there's a lot of bags in here. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff, so I'll try to speed through. For those of you who have been around my channel long enough, you know I love Big Bang. Big Bang, I Big Bang Theory, the TV show. Love that show. Um, I can sing Soft Kitty to Willow and she will come from a dead sleep. I'm not doing it today. She, poor thing, she's sleeping right now. She's on top of the bed. She, wanted, she can't jump, so I had to put her on the bed and I don't want her to have to go through the whole jump down and stuff. But if I sing Soft Kitty to Willow at any point, she could be totally asleep. Now, I have my theories as to why she does come running towards me, and I don't think it's necessarily because of the actual words. It's like, Mom, shut up. Stop singing. You suck. <laughs> and I don't sing it in a nice way. It's more like, you know, soft kitty, you know, whatever. But it's so funny because she does come running. Back to the wax. Sheldon from Super Tarts is Spearmint and Rosemary Mint. Again, it's another one that a lot of people with head colds, you know, if you like, mm, hello. Um, and they melt these just to clear the air to make it, you know, fresh in that. So it is popular. I really do like this. I do have another one in my collection. This is Pink Sugar Type from Sugar and Spice Candles. This is like from 2017. You guys know how I feel about that. Very, very good. The, the scent is very good. And you guys already know how I feel about the company. From the Bathing Garden, uh, Pagan Moon, which is described as an apple and pear groove groove under a blood red strawberry moon kissed by swirling fall leaves it's a lot this was okay and it would look, the melt itself looked really cool bathing garden has some most beautiful um melts but now with all this environmental stuff you know it's always been there but with that being like the glitter i wonder what's going to happen with um the vendors with that use glitter and and things that don't um break down you know what I mean? Like, because I, I kind of wonder about that, right? Um, but anyway, this was nice. I wouldn't necessarily purchase it again. Melted this during the U.S. finale of Big Brother. This is Big Brother from Super Tarts in Sweet Berries, Cotton Candy Frosting, and Vanilla Bean Champagne and Love Spell. And I did love. I really did enjoy this. There's a lot of Love Spell, and I love Love Spell, which you'll probably see somewhere around here um, between today and the next day. Um, I tried out for Big Brother again this year for Canada, and that would have made the sixth time I've tried out in eight years and still no luck. And that's fine, but they just don't know what they're missing. Anywho, <laughs> but that was a good wax mill. I enjoyed it. So I'm just trying to pull out. I'm trying to get through all the trying to get through the clams here before we get into other things. This is, um, er, oh, sorry, Break Apart Herbal Melts Petals of Paradise by Swan Creek Candle Co. This is one of the items I picked up when Ramona and I were on our excellent adventure through the Texas Triangle, and we stopped at lots of, um, oh no, I guess, anyway, there's a gas station there, anyway. Um, but these were good, but I find that, I will agree, now that I you know really am home a lot more, I only get about three hours of really good strong scent from this. Um, they are a soy wax melt, so some of these blends are different. Um, this is a soy, but um, it, it was good, but I wouldn't say that was my favorite. Um, Petals of Paradise was okay as well, but there are other ones I've enjoyed from that company a little bit more. Super Tarts again, you guys can see that you can see where my favorites are. Um, Bloody Face, which is or uh, blood orange, rain, and pink sugar. Now I enjoyed this. This was um, melt that I melted in my bathroom. Again, less is more with Super Tarts, and in the exact order that blood orange, rain, and pink sugar. That's the order I could smell each of those scents. So really enjoyed this one. Um, I have repurchased that one in the past. <coughs> All right, Coral Shores, even though it says from the USA, I know Canada gets it now. We're always like way behind. Really enjoy this one. one it's a, a, to me, it's a dupe for the pink, uh, pink Sands candle from Yankee Candles. So really enjoy that one. The Elf Morning Blend, another, this is from the Bathing Garden right here. And I don't have the sticker. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, coffee, candy cane, chocolate, marshmallow, and peppermint. This is Another one of my favorite coffee blends of all time. Now this normally comes out for Christmas, um, hence the name and that. 
I have a few of these in my back stock and I would most and I think this year she did bring out one of the big medallions in this but I was trying to be good and I you know this is one of my favorites and I would definitely get a medallion in this I will likely end up going through my cop there's not many coffees I have left I'm holding on till I think I only have two of these clams but um, between now and next Christmas when bathing garden puts out their new like their Christmas lineup which is normally around Halloween um I would probably hope she does the big medallion because I probably need two. They're that good. Again, it's one of those blends where the, the coffee stands out before everything else. Mr. Myers from Super Tarts. Fresh fallen leaves, fireside, and vanilla bean Noel. Another great fall Halloween inspired. It's very good. I really enjoy this one. Yeah, it's got more of a smoky note. Um, the fireside. It's like a manly smoky scent. I think this is the one that everyone said that smells like Aqualina pink sugar. I don't know. I don't, I think this is the one. Sugared lavender twist. Can't get it here in Canada. I have lovely friends who send me this. I love this scent. It's beautiful. Uh, very strong actually. And I do melt that one exclusively in the bedroom. Oh my gosh, am I almost, I'm almost down to just my bags. Oh, sorry. Almost, I'm trying to get. I'm just trying to. Okay, after this, we're going to go really fast. We have from Goose Creek uh, the peanut butter and jelly. It didn't even smell like peanut butter. It didn't even smell like jelly. Eh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't buy that scent again. Um, Endless Summer from Southbound. So, <clears throat> Southbound Candle Co., which is a blend of raspberry light, uh, lychee, sorbet, sunkissed magnolia, and vanilla sandalwood. This is their version of Endless Weekend that Bath and Body Works has, and I'd say it was pretty darn close. Okay, guys, with all the bags that I have, I'm literally just going to pull, show, and if there, if there are any strong thoughts on them, I will tell you. Happy Days, Vintage Chic Scents. Happy Days is described apple, mango, tango, and clean cotton. I would 100% repurchase this. This was strong, and I really enjoyed that blend. Rainbow Melts, uh, this is her cookie, the one of her cookies. Rainbow Sherbet and Sugar Cookies. Really enjoy this, and the, the big, big cookies, too. Uh, one of Rainbow Melts OG scents that I think is one of her top sellers as well. <coughs> Pardon me. Zucchini jam. The creamy zucchini and strawberry jam filled donuts. This is a fruit and bakery lover's dream all in one, which is why I think it's such a popular one. It is very good and I have more in my collection. One of my top scents of all time from any vendor from, from anywhere. This is some soup from Super Tarts in Beauty and the Beast. Sweet blackberries and magically delicious. It's a comforting scent. Love it. Um, I have a bunch, oh, I'll probably more, from the Rose Girls. Uh, I bought a couple samplers. We have pumpkin coconut latte. This is Rose Girls. That was good. Huckleberry, Huckleberry cheesecake. It was okay. I'm not a cheesecake lover. Cranberry Macintosh donut holes. Did like that one. This is from Super Tarts Wonka box that I purchased. Um, there's no date on it, but like a while ago. This was in Wonka. I can't honestly remember if I liked that one or I didn't. It couldn't have been a standout to me then. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite coffees ever. Again, if you want to check out how I freeze my three wick candles from Bath and Body Works and what I, exactly I do to get to the point where I chop it and put into these bags that I buy from L3 Waxy Wonders. They have a large bakery bag. I just put the sticker back on over here. This is from a three wick candle from Bath and Body Works in uh, Intense Coffee. One of my favorite coffee blends, again, of all time. And um, it throws like crazy as a wax melt when cut up in my home. Another uh, candle I chopped up was from Bath and Body Works and Farmstand Apple. And it's basically a great, um, like, September apple scent. It's beautiful. Oh, I found another. Of course I did. Why not? Ah, it's Tart Trex Data. So this is the one that I love and I would repurchase, and I think I did repurchase for Wax Wednesday. That's lavender cream, pear slices, and sugar cookies. Really enjoyed that one, um, definitely. So this is from Rainbow Mouse, The Fog, Rain and Eucalyptus and Juniper and Sage. Very fresh and a little bit herbally as well, which is good. It wasn't just a dream, super tarts, pink sugar, lavender, cream, and I can't remember what peppermint, I think. This was really good, I had a lot of that. So I went through a lot in 2019. Hedwig, which is the um, Super Tarts chai tea version that I really do like. Chai tea, creamy cheesecake, and clove. Very, very good Super Tarts. 
Rainbow Melts, Cafe Gelato, Espresso Ice Cream, and Sweet Waffle Cone, and Butter Brickle. Very, very good. Again, I, there isn't a coffee that I, super hard, hard, or that uh, Rainbow Melts has done that I hated. Um, this is part of the sampler for the Go to Sleep. I'm not going to go on through them individually. I enjoyed it. I got the Go to Sleep, the... Oh, here they are. They're all together. Well, there you go. I got the Fake and Bake sampler. I got the Mama's Family sampler and the Go to Sleep. And out of all of them, my favorite was the Fake and Bake. Um, so Fake and Bake blended with all sorts of things. The Wonka box. There's, oh, there's a Go to Sleep point in laundry. It just didn't make it into... Oh, and another one that went... Blackberry cookies. It didn't make it into the thing. That might happen. Uh, Wonka Vision from the Wonka box. Super Tarts. These next two Super Tarts. One's World of Imagination. And the other one is mm, tomato soup. I can't remember because those ones don't have sentinel descriptions on them. Another one of my favorite coffees uh, blends from any vendor is Southbound Candle Co's Cafe Cream Puffs. Roasted coffee beans, buttery pastry dough, creamy vanilla, custard, sweet cream, and confectioner's sugar. Again, where the coffee is higher than all the other notes that are in there, that's me in a nutshell. I really love this and I do have more of that in my stash. There's a lot of these samplers, fake and bake, go to sleep, um, mama's family that just didn't make it into the, um, the bag originally. So uh, Wonka, Wonka Nader, another fake and bake, go to sleep. Snoozeberries, which was, I believe, Twilight's. They were trying to do a Twilight version of Lush. It wasn't, that I didn't enjoy it. Swag. There was only a couple of these bathroom, like, um, I think it was mornings, sorry. It's morning sex that I enjoyed the most. Okay, sorry for anyone listening in the background. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, wax melt, by the way. Pumpkin chai carbs. That was lovely. This is Rose Girls Aqua, uh, Aqua Di Gio and Aqua Di Gio and Stainless Steel. I realize I don't like stainless steel. Amour from Rose Girls. The Rodeo. You see where I'm coming with all this. The All Nighter. Uh, French Vanilla Latte and Vanilla Hazelnut Mocha from Rose Girls. Morning Sex. I remember I enjoyed this one. Just the wax melt, people. Hold yourself together. Um, this was a sample of the thing from Super Tarts. Was not a fan of that one. The Rainbow Melts Nightcap Starbucks Coffee Coconut Cream Pie and Whipped Cream. I how oh, her coffee samplers are so awesome. Another couple of Mama's Family and a Fake and Bake. Uh, we got Rose Girls Icy Shine. Icy Shine Fantasy. Uh, I've got Rainbow Melts Bobbing for Apples, a sweet mix of fresh apples. This was a couple years ago that I got that and it throws like crazy. Rose Girls Coconut Pumpkin Marshmallow Cupcakes. Very good. October's from Rose Girls. One of my hands down favorite blends from Rose Girls. Um, October's has got just like, it's got lavender, it's got um, apple, it's a little bit of everything but it's quite nice and I think it's fitting that they name it October. This is Satsuma and Olive. Really enjoyed this. In fact, if it came out in a half pie and I was willing and ready to buy, I would probably buy it in a half pie because it was that good. Pumpkin whipped cream latte, good. Um, clothes on the line, if you love fresh scents. If you like the outdoors and the like, clothes on the line, you'll like this. It was definitely a stronger um, laundry blend than I'm used to. Not too much more, guys. If you've stuck around, you're doing awesome. I appreciate it. So from this bag, let me see. Rainbow Melts got coffee, dark roasted coffee and brown sugar and grain crackers and cream. Great. Got candy. This is from a few years ago. Uh, sweet mix of trick-or-treat goodies. Kind of just smell like you stuck your head in a bag of your Halloween candy when you were a kid and kind of go through it all. Go to sleep. Um, another go to sleep, which we already talked about. Uh, pretzel salad from Rainbow Melts. Fresh baked pretzels and strawberry and caramel pretzels in the end, not for me. Uh, apple butter, pecan pie crust. This is from the Rainbow or from the Super Tarts Advent Counter 2018. I have a couple. Let me see what I've got here. Three. Blackberry Christmas tree, pink sugar mallow, can't remember. Apple butter, pecan, pie crust, can't remember. Wasail, orange gingerbread sugar cookie. I think I like that one because it's a little bit of like the winter spicy. Wasail is like a spicy um, uh, mulled wine type thing. Um, I like I like that one. The Cool Beans from Rainbow Melts, which is one of her most popular coffee blends. Iced coffee and whipped marshmallow and co uh, caramel drizzle. It was also very good. Bed and Breakfast from Rainbow Melts, Cafe Espresso and Caramel, 
and hot orange Danish. Um, that's it for the first bag and that was such a long freaking video, I'm sorry. So we got part two to do. I better get myself some coffee and get ready for round two. So, all right, you guys. Thank you, guys. If you stayed here for this whole thing, what am I going to do? The a lip emoji. The one, the kiss um, with a lip on it because I, yeah, I don't know how to use that one. If you stayed till the end, thank you so much. Um, part two to come. I will just sort of end it here. Thank you very much for watching, you guys. As always, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.